Now let's draw the AA section of the building. Uh, and uh, here uh, we can place the position of the AA section uh, so that it will cut through the flight of stairs. Uh, and when we uh, do this, we are going to cut the window here and here and uh, at, the, at the front uh, side, uh, at the school street side uh, of the building. And please do not forget, we need to draw uh, the section with its near surrounding. So we, uh, the section line should start cutting uh, through Yildiz Street, the sidewalk, the uh, garden wall, uh, garden, the terrace area, and then the building itself. And uh, at the uh, upper part, we are also cutting the flat roof uh, and roof uh, roof parapets as well. Uh, so this is what we are going to do. First, we need to draw the section line here. Uh, we should draw it like this. Uh, it, it, it can start cutting through here, through this glass. Uh, and the middle part of the stairs and the glass uh, at the front. Uh, and we, we can uh, transfer the width of the sidewall. Uh, we can start drawing here. That's the section of Yildiz Street. Uh, and then we can uh, have a 15 centimeter high sidewall here. And then we can have a garden wall, which is one meter high uh, this time. Uh, and the garden area, uh, the four to five centimeter high ground floor, uh, it continues to, to the back uh, and it ends where the school street be begins here, the 15 centimeters, we can go downwards to find the level of the street. Uh, and after that, we can uh, transfer the position of our uh, walls, uh, which here we have a, a parapet, window parapet for 90 centimeters. And then uh, we can have a parapet, uh, we can have a window uh, which has a two meters, 10 centimeters high here, starting from the zero point. And after that, uh, we can find uh, the upper surface of the floor, uh, first floor here and calculate another uh, 90 centimeters uh, from the upper surface of the uh, wall. So we can find the uh, parapet, uh, the upper part of the parapet for this window, uh, and then do the same window again, uh, and find the six meter high uh, to draw the section of our flat roof. Uh, after the flat roof, we can uh, have uh, two small parapet walls, which are three, uh, 30 or 40 uh, centimeters high. Uh, and at the back, you can see the same, it's the same with the front. Uh, and here, after that, uh, the uh, glass surface begins and it ends uh, at, uh, at the top of the first floor. Uh, as you can see here, we have parapets and the uh, flat roof at the six uh, meter high. Uh, and when we look at this direction, we are going to see this uh, neighbor building uh, as well. Uh, and you can see the glass surface uh, here. Uh, so uh, this is what I'm going to do. I, I, now I start to cut the first floor. Uh, as you can see here, I can transfer the width of the landing uh, from my ground floor plan uh, because it's already been indicated with dashed lines. Uh, I can transfer uh, the width uh, here uh, and I can do the landing. That's the small part of the first floor, as you can see here. And then I need to draw the section of each steps. Uh, however, uh, this time I need to learn that uh, the risers should either be have a nosing like this, or it can uh, be inclined uh, like this, because uh, when we are uh, stepping down, when we are going downwards, uh, in the stairs, uh, the, the heel uh, can uh, in, interact with the riser surface and that, that can cause a problem. Uh, so either we can have a nosing or we can prefer uh, open risers. Uh, it, it, we, don't, we don't need to put a surface there. Uh, this is how the nosing uh, looks like. Uh, and this is how the open risers Look like, looks like, look like. Uh, and let's prefer uh, risers this time. 
so this is what I need to do. I need to transfer the uh, risers, the width uh, from the plan. Uh, and I need to do uh, 15 centimeter, uh, sorry, 20 centimeters for each riser because that's how I calculated it. Uh, and uh, when, when I finished drawing uh, the section of the risers, uh, so this is, let's have a bigger drawing here. Uh, this is my first riser, the second riser, the third riser, and it goes like that. This is what I need to do. I need to find these corners and draw a parallel line uh, for 10 centimeters. This should be parallel. Uh, this should be perpendicular or 10 centimeters. So I can draw uh, a parallel line uh, to indicate the uh, lower surface of the stairs. And uh, as you can see here, I didn't finish it uh, right uh, like that. Uh, I prefer to finish it with a, a, a height uh, like this so that uh, like this, uh, so that uh, if, if they are going to do a covering material here, they will have a place uh, to work in. Uh, so uh, it will be correct uh, to do that. And here, as you can see, I just combined uh, the riser uh, with the floor. I did the same thing uh, here. Uh, I just created this line. Uh, that's the continuous line uh, here. And I just combine it uh, with the lower surface of the floor. Uh, so that's all uh, to do that. Uh, and that's the section. And when I look forward, uh, these are the things that I'm going to see. I'm going to see these surfaces of the walls uh, behind the glass uh, areas. Uh, I'm going to see uh, the side surface of this first floor. Uh, however, this time uh, with these lines here, both, both these lines and this one here, they should be drawn with a middle thickness, middle darkness, line weight, uh, because these are the surfaces that I see. Uh, that's the side of the first floor. Uh, and I'm seeing the uh, this surface of the handrail, this surface of the handrail for the first floor and uh, its bars like that. And please do not forget the proper height for a handrail is approximately 90 centimeters. It's uh, the same logic behind the uh, height of the uh, window parapet. Again, uh, if we are uh, trying to prevent people to fall down, that's uh, that's the standard uh, height that we can take. Uh, so I see all these uh, uh, bars and the uh, handrail. Uh, and now I finished the drawing, uh, so I can add. Uh, also, I see the inside surface of the roof uh, here, roof parapet. When I cut through here and look at this direction, this is something that I can see, the surface here, roof parapet, and the uh, roof of the neighbor building. It's a little bit higher than uh, my building. Uh, so this is what I add. Uh, and once I finish on the inside surface of the garden wall and these two steps here, uh, also I need to do the uh, tree as well. I, I just forgot it. Uh, and once I finish it, I can write the name of the street and the name of the spaces uh, and the other street. I need to give all the levels of this uh, section for the cut facade here, which is the uh, highest point of the roof uh, parapet, uh, the uh, level of the roof, uh, uh, roof floor, uh, level of the first floor, the level of the ground floor inside the section. Uh, the highest part of the window, the parapet, again, the uh, upper part of the window, the parapet, uh, the upper surface of the side wall. Uh, here, again, I need to do the same, uh, the highest part of the roof, parapet, the window, the parapet, again, the upper part of the 
uh, door this time, the glass surface, uh, and I need to put a man inside. So that's my drawing and I can do the hatch uh, as well. Uh, 